What's up, everybody? How's it going? We are live right now with some pillars. I have no clue what's going on right now. We are apparently in Admas Den. I don't know where that is, but we're gonna level up, I guess. Okay. Oh, main guy. Main guy, main guy, main guy. What are you doing? Hi, baby. What should we do? Focus on some, uh... Interrupting blows? That would be good. Hi, Sophie. Oh, way to take up the camera, baby. Oh, and, um, yep. Good job, baby. There is only one. Health and endurance concealed? I'm not sure what that means. But I do like the idea of going into beast mode. This probably would be better. Well, okay, I see what that is. There's none of that's good enough. See, all of these are just stealing things from other people. Yeah. So, utility... Hmm. Not really seeing anything. Reflexes? No, because we want to get hit. Mental fortress it is. That sounds solid. Unimpeachable as a choice. Um, okay, and away we go. Where? I do not know. Um, yeah, so, still have surgery mouth going on. That's what's up. Oh, we didn't get the second light on. There we go. dreamed of visiting the republics. There, at least, the people value trade. Trade of all things, it's true. And competition between the republics keeps us strong. Rawatai is a unified nation with fleeter ships. Someday it may prove a worthy competitor. There's more to dominating trade than fast ships. Maybe you could write a poem to help your countrymen figure it out. Boosh. Extremely rude. <laughs> uh, poor kid. Mm, wild strike. Don't really use wild strike. I 
guess I should. Right. What did we need to do? I think we might have gone there and gotten out, possibly. <laughs> Big memories coming back to me of getting out. Hmm. I don't know if I would have started there, though. Uh, accurate moving shot, brutal takedown. I do like the sound of brutal takedown, but accurate wounding shot is too preferable. Too, too preferable. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Mm-hmm. You heard right. Okay, man, we got some good HP going. No one's o under 100. That speaks well to survivability. See what lies this way. Sneaking around in the rain, just the way I like it. Where were these assholes supposed to be? Somewhere here, making camp. Could be anywhere. Sensing they may not be over here. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak? Dead body? I probably wouldn't camp by the dead body either. Are they just gonna be by the, that big creepy stone structure? Just off the road? I guess that would make sense. Is that the deer that I'm being seen by? Pretty sure. <laughs> or is there, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the deer. Uh, 
found it. Huh. Okay. Just some money. Just ignore the glowing thing. Apparently one person's gonna stand on it. Um, I'm not seeing these people who made camp here. Do I have to go tromping around just to find them? That doesn't seem wise, uh, strategy wise. In the right place, right? At Wood End Plains, which is in Stormwall Forge. I don't understand. Okay, I might. I might not be in the right place, but I'm not sure. I mean, I'm in Stonewall Gorge, but Wood End Plains is not here. Wood End Plains is right here. The hell? Sophie. raining. Maybe these guys are friendly. We should just find out. What's up here? I mean, I know I've been up here before, but I could be up here. That's where I would put in an enemy encounter. I'm just going to waltz right into it, apparently. Yep. Hmm, okay. He doesn't notice your hand sneaking into his belt pouch as he steps away. Excellent. Good, good resolution. We would, I think we got more experience that way than we would have by combat, thanks to the way this game works. Wizard time! Hmm, wall of flame. Yeah, I mean, hell, why not? 
let's let's just give treat ourselves a little bit. Okay, and now I get it. We have to take this thing to the to the glowy thing that we stepped on. And then we'll uh probably unlock somebody who's really unhappy to see us. We'll see. Won't we, Sophie? Or I think it might actually open up a dungeon. And then we'll have to fight many people who are not happy to see us. And then we'll get those weapons, and we'll give them to someone who's going to misuse them. Yeah, I mean, baby. We sure are. Because that's a morally ambiguous hero. Yeah, it's going to drain. It's going to drain the water right now, baby. Hell yeah. Let's dive in. Oh, Sophie. Ah, <laughs> uh, good job, baby. Way to go. Oh, dear. Wait to re replace this thing. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what they said about these gums. These gums. Oh cat. <laughs> I want to see that on the replay. Faith, conviction, and deflection. That's funny. It's funny, guys. Everybody leveling up now. I, I'll catch you, Ben Fidel. Sure. I think Ruffian is good. Pistol, blunderbuss. Yeah. 
Yo, Zeus, what's going on? Oh, shit. There's no truer blade than essence forged in bronze. Turn twice to the left and prepare your soul for its reckoning. Uh-oh. I'm not so sure about reckonings. But I do, I am sure about killing spiders. Oh my god, it's gonna give me a full battle report of what Adair was up to. The colorful clothing of the Spiriton Wiver bon Bonacetta is known throughout the Eastern Reach. Over a year ago, she was on a trip to Defiance Bay when her ship sank in a violent storm just off of the Pearl Coast. Miraculously, men and the passengers survived. Bonacetta's body was never found, and she was presumed to have died. However, a Valian merchant in Defiance Bay recently recognized some of Bonacetta's unmistakable work in an otherwise unremarkable shipment of textiles. He spoke with others and learned that several shipments to different merchants bore the same telltale patterns. Now, many merchants believe that Bonacetta is being held captive somewhere and is trying to communicate through her work. Whatever the message is, none have been able to decipher it, nor where it's coming from. That's really interesting. Adair found a surprising resistance to inquiries regarding the whereabouts of Bonacetta. Whoever had taken her wanted to keep her location a secret. At the behest of the Duchess of Sparento, a team of Valian cryptographers attempted to decipher the fragments of Bonacetta's weaving messages. In turn, they communicated those leads to Adair. After several brutal fights against well-trained mercenaries, Adair reached Bonacetta's prison, a weaving house near Durara. Durara! <laughs> The Valian textile company that had abducted her was immediately cast out of all the Valian republics, great and small. And thanks for saving her, Bonacetta wore, wove an enchanted cloak for Adair's journey back to Cadua. Hell yeah. Plus 5 to all defenses, plus 30 max endurance, plus 30 damage reduction. That's a super good cloak. Thank you, Bonacetta. More velvet, right? Yeah, 14 hours. I'm on the trail. Turn left two times, right? Okay. That's a lot of dudes. I'm ready. Okay, let's see what's actually going on. <laughs> Okay. Unleash. Something. Injured, injured, injured. Badly injured, near death. Hmm. 
probably use a little health. Follow <laughs> you. There we go. And the target. Yes, very good tactics. Do a Grimoire Slam. Kick that guy in. Back a second death. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Align with? Uh, you mean the gods? I'm not there yet. This is still Act 2. Also, hello. This is not the Power Rangers. Hello uh, to you, too. Hello to everybody. Um, the quality that defines me. Whoa, we're getting real now. Uh, brave, consistent, bring people together. So this is basically the Harry Potter uh, houses, right? So I'm a Hufflepuff. Just gonna put that one out there. I bring people together. Okay, I don't quite understand. Well, that's weird. I shall be discreet. It totally, totally was. More ghosties. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, well, that's further out than I'd like him. Ready when <laughs> yeah, we needed to engage. Jesus, whatever the hell this is. Um, this is probably not going to be too fun. Oh man, Itumak. Just beastly. <laughs> right, they're immune. Oh, let's forget that. Um. 
Should probably not use a fireball here. Ready when you are. <laughs> Doesn't seem very likely. Not a problem. Okay. So we were judged. No one. Bozo here take the brunt of the damage. It's so desirable to pick off for them spiders. Um, I am still playing Breath of the Wild. I was actually playing it like uh, delaying my stream because I was playing it secretly. Oh boy. Um. So many ghosts. What are they all doing? I tried fighting a Lionel earlier tonight uh, for the, about the millionth time, but this time, like, more seriously than ever, and completely got my ass handed to me yet again. Because I guess it, uh, in the late game, it just levels them all up to be, um, fucking white maned. Uh, so that sucks. Uh, I really gotta master the dodging, I think, because the flurry is extremely powerful. That was basically the only way. To Jesus. Yeah, well, Alos is down. Uh, I think we're due for some camping. Toss me something out! OK. 
Okay, that wasn't too bad, I suppose. But still, yeah, 57 total HP is not going to cut it. I was going to say, maybe we try to protect him, but there's no way. Um, I'm finding it very difficult to not finish Breath of the Wild, because... I'm right at the end. I just want to explore every nook and cranny. Do a, you know, I'm not going to do a completionist pass, but want to do a second pass on a lot of the areas I've been through that I haven't quite gotten back to. Um, so I was just in the Gerudo Mountains. They're so gorgeous. Oh, so gorgeous. But getting owned. And then I need to move on to the grasslands. The dry grasslands. Oh boy. Can we poison them? I guess we'll find out. You idiot! Heravius is back. <laughs> yeah, let's just put him away. I think in this case, we know what we're doing. We want to just hide him from the world. Wait, how did he get busted out of the shell? Did it just do enough damage, I guess? Yeah, I know, petrified. There we go. What the hell just happened to Ravius? <laughs> okay, we got this wrapped up. Oops. Once again, Doc did the Not a finishing blow. That doesn't seem like a great idea to me. What's in here?
Okay, let's just let's let combat shake out a little bit. Everybody got their dance partners. Jesus. Okay, I guess those spiders were kind of weak. I'm so tired, I'd pay brothel rates just to nap. Tired? Did, oh, I guess it's not very good sleep. That's horseshit. It just put, happened to put all of my ranged people right up front. Death to our enemies. All right, that was some damage, huh? I'll take a look. Everybody's sleepy. Sagani has a severe burn. These spiders don't seem to be attacking. Well, I'm just going to trust the autosave. All right. I just made fucking peace with spiders, okay. And they don't attack me because they don't have any use for fucking spears. <laughs> That's cool. Video games love them some spiders. I was going to mention, like, I was like, is this one of those games where I can install a mod that makes the spiders non-threatening or at least silly uh, well I guess we're not gonna figure out how to get there and we completed our uh, quest so no spiders needed to die. It's a good little twist. Can't really employ brutish warrior until I get the barracks open. Oh, I do have the barracks. So then I should be hiring 
British warriors. Sure, we'll hire all of them. I think. Did that do it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 1526. That's something. That's better to uh, withstand bandit, bandit patrols. Yeah. Friendly spiders. Friendly spider monarch who was just putting their memories and uh, stuff into a magic stone. We didn't need the stone, I guess, necessarily. No reason for, for any violence to happen except for all those spiders that murdered. Oh, well. Well, we finally figured out what the hell was in that thing. I mean, I kind of remembered, but no, I didn't remember the friendly spiders, certainly. It's a good detail. Oh, I just wanted a nice bed. Definitely don't want to do that. That was good. Badly injured. Barely, 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 barely. Okay. So... There we go. Into the thorns. Didn't work. Maybe try something yeah. else. Dead on. Oh, that going to leave the scar. Ar Stupid knights. Will power and good intentions will only keep me upright for so long. Oh, there's some audio audio bugginess. I don't love. Leave these naked boys alone in the wilderness. Hello, dear.
still hearing a, some whispering. Which is either the ancient statue thing we just visited. Or I'm going crazy. I'm gonna trade my ice pack for another ice pack. Oh! <laughs> that was unexpected. There's the alt-tab dance we need to do. Um, so... We gotta talk to these guys and then we'll be... ready to... finish out Act 2, I think? Hopefully? Whoa! Whoa, 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 what's going on? Assassins. Assassins everywhere. Well, I mean, I guess we just fucking go straight at him. Right? Just sprint into battle. Exactly. Everyone's too well matched up. Okay, so again, Heravius with the unexpected, really good idea. Yo, hey, can I get a little help here? <laughs> Fucking the cops. Okay, I hope you don't mind my dog, like, literally eating people into bite-sized chunks in the middle of the street. 
Willpower and good intentions will only keep me upright for so long. Yeah, yeah. I do love the song. Surprise, my ice pack is a beer. Dummy? What? Oh, you're trying to send me a message that you want dry food that I don't have. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're old, all right, but this isn't what I was expecting. I don't suppose you figured out what was supposed to make them so special. I'm just going to sit lie because I don't want anybody to have the knowledge. At least I don't have to waste any more expeditions on this. If the knights make a move, we'll just have to face them down with old-fashioned deer wooden metal. There you go. There's some good pets. You happy now? Uh-oh, we got double trouble. Is granted mob justice. We need someone to help us seek an audience with the Duke, but the dozens are little more than a mob. Uh oh, Sophie's exploring. At least with the Dominaires, we can be confident that the bloodshed will be minimal. The streets won't run red. The Dominaires can be violent, but always with a goal in mind. They're certainly no friends to me or the Republics, but their motives are easy to understand. Well, should we... Should we go and do the Dominaires questline then? I mean, I suppose it couldn't hurt. I don't think we're forced to do the end of Act 2 right away. Sophie has found herself a throne. She will not be joining us on camera, or knocking over the camera. 
again, I suppose. Oh, no. She's not quite comfortable. Sophie. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Uh, no, lying is always a good idea. In video games. I suppose if I'm just like Scooby doing past this in, maybe I should stop in. Stop, stop in. See what it did there. Accidentally. Ah, claws. Claws, claws, claws. There is a clause to this contract of him sitting on my lap. Gods keep you. And it's that he doesn't scratch me too much. Uh, perception, resolve, intellect, and lore, dexterity, and survival. De yeah, I like this one, but it's the most expensive. Most expensive. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Oh, uh, well, I guess the funny thing I shared with people was not to their taste. Another failed attempt at humor. Did we complete the watcher's warden's lodge? Yes. So I guess now is the time to build the bailey. People just started talking about Kingdom Hearts. Okay, looks like I'm doing the good thing. But not paying attention. Man, I need to fix my webcam in up more permanent ways so I can stop having to deal with the uh, <sighs> Stuff falling over or getting slightly out of whack. Table shakes. Who's this boy? Rocco Francis White White Bottoms?
I guess we didn't get any quests last time we went in here, but I do remember going in here and then being like, okay, goodbye. I don't like you, people. Which is perhaps a little silly of me. Here we go. I'll have this open in no time. That was a weird uh, audio effect that just happened. Just tons of servants and guards. Where is everyone? Oh, right here. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, let's find a, a second way in. Let's let's do things a little unexpected. Let's do all the quest lines and then then pick. Actually, let's. I think we actually did most of the uh, Crucible one by accident, uh, but I definitely don't want those guys to succeed because then they have Robocops everywhere or whatever. And that's no boy no. Copper Lane. Is it that house we were going to? I think I remember some kind of hideout. Don't exactly remember where. It's not that drug den we went to. The other thing we could do is uh, go fight a lighthouse full of ghosts. But I think after missing a stream last week, I think we need to just be getting on with the story. Yeah, hi. I know you want to lick and just rub and do all sorts of things to my hands. Including bite them. I don't like that. Because you're gross. You're gross boy. Gross boy. Your own father sold you to the Brotherhood? He hated me anyway. I was glad to be gone. The Dukes are my parents now. The Republics my children. That's an interesting way of looking at it. Hey, are you just barely on camera? You wouldn't need to be put on camera. A little more. A little more action. Is that what you like? <sighs> I, I know, I know you want food. I'm sorry I can't give it to you. This is someone's house. Kind of forget. Who, to be honest? Well, I rolled over my headphone wire. And now it is under my chair. Nope. Did it again. Got to adjust that camera again. Ha ha ha, I love my setup. It's so janky and fun. Ha ha ha. Well, that's not too bad. It's like we should go back into place. It's not stealing, because the game didn't say we were stealing. Ah, 
smiling hearts. So yeah, they gave me uh, ibuprofen and hydrocodone for my mouth surgery recovery. And I haven't really taken the hydrocodone since the day after when I thought it was mandatory. <laughs> Yeah, that was dumb. Uh, but... To uncover places to see. Indeed. Though after five years, I'll be ready for a break. It is true. You have been at it far longer than I. Where will you go next when you have all the world to choose from? Home? Home, of course. Good dog. Um... Yeah, I don't want to take the hydrocodone, but I take one ibuprofen in the morning now, and then I just drink a couple beers at night, and that's my pain-killing regime. I don't think doctors could, uh, probably wouldn't feel very good saying that's just fine, but, you know, I don't, I don't like the idea of taking serious painkillers. Something, something about that just rubs me the wrong way. Something about the whole uh, opioid epidemic in the United States rubs me the wrong way. Opioid. It's a fun word. Is there anything you need? How about some drugs? That's what I tell. I forgot about that. Um, not finding this. It was Copper Lane you said the thieves were in. I guess I'm not a very good thief hunter. Hey, baby. Sophie. You just had five siblings? That's right. Between the six of us, I don't think the house has known a single day's quiet. Of course, a little chaos makes it far easier to get away with mischief. Yes, I can imagine that comes in handy. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Sometimes when she's like halfway through cleaning herself, she just leaves her tongue out and looks around. It's really kind of special. Kind of fantastic. Hey boys, what's going on here? Made a grave mistake coming here. Was there a way I could have negotiated my way out of that? I guess it doesn't matter. I hate Dirty Rigbert is this guy's name, Dirty Rigbert. I, I was going to say I hate killing named NPCs, but Dirty Rigbert needs to 
needs to go down. There we go. Not a problem. Yeah, I've got something over here. Oh, this was a profitable side quest. Let's see what's in here. As promised. Yeah, I kind of want to do this quest line, so I'm just going to give it to him. We'll see if we can't charge through this thing real quick and set ourselves up for the Act 2 closer to start off the uh, third stage stream, because then we can make some real progress. Get to the second major town. That'd be good. Let's see, Thursday? Yeah, I don't think I have as much going on on Thursday. So, I'll be able to start early and go late. Tonight? Yeah, I mean, I'm already going fairly late. Although it's not quite 11. Probably go to 11.30. Could launch into a, another spiel about how I want to get to bed on time and stuff, but I think I'm smart enough right now to know myself. <laughs> Might not be happening. It's like Every place I live, my uh, entire habits, yeah, uh, PST for sure, not quite 11, my my habits in terms of sleep change drastically depending on where I live. It's kind of unnerving. Wish I was a little more consistent routine, but uh, it's just not who I am. Hireling payday. Of all the things I've gotten used to, food was the hardest adjustment. I quite agree. Deer wouldn't oversalt everything and run it in sauce. And they burn out all the flavor. Nothing like a raw deer flank. Don't show me ads. Show me cats. Okay, the 
and see what this guy wants for his follow up. Sophie! You're just staring at me, baby. It's making me real nervous. Just being stared at from across the room. Have you procured the letter? Is this blood? These were my men, you fool. I'll give you one chance to fix this. I'm guessing I should just do it, but I don't know. So the problem with having a whole party is, like, I'm only as strong as my lowest character stealth. Or I'm only as stealthy as my lowest character stealth. Isn't that right, Sophie? Okay, Something next. funny, big man? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, when you started shouting, that poor man looked as if he'd piss himself. Nothing seems to trouble you much, does it, Kano? Oh, I don't know. I never found much use in getting worked up over the little things. Maybe to an Omawa, it all just looks like little things. Boosh. Uh, let's quick save. Are you gonna f yeah, you're gonna physically put me in the manor. I wish it was all just a true general adventure. But no, you're gonna fucking make me actually do the thing. That's cool. I can do it. Yeah. Slow and silent. Great. Yeah? So that, it wasn't in there. So now I have to go into another room. I wonder what this is. What did you discover? Fuck me. That was terrifying. I wonder what this is. We got the thing, but the guard's gonna come back. Shit. I'm here. Not a problem. Okay, the guard can't see us, and we missed I'll the I'll have thing. this open in no time. That'll do it. So, we're just going to say, all good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Mission accomplished. Goodbye. Bless up. Thank you for the robbery. I suppose we should take a look at this giant rock before we give it over.
Yeah, that's just too good not to use. No wonder. I'm gonna get my book. I'm gonna see if we had to kill those boys. I'm just curious at this point now, like, am I gonna go back and redo it at all? on something. Um. Some sanitarium stuff. You have something for me, I hope. All oh, right. Not yet. Let's go look at it. A priceless jewel known for its pale glow and named after the equally famous mountain range is just coming here. Jewels like this were once believed to attract dragons. Well, that doesn't seem like a great idea. You have something for me, I hope. Without so much as a sneeze from the guards next door. Oh, very discreet indeed. Mm. Bronze beneath the lake. That's the one we just did. Two story job. No amount of fancy talk gets you out of, fight, out of a fight with these thugs. Slaughter the four thieves and their leader, Langdon. Okay. Well. This should keep the knights and the dozens in their place. A rare prize indeed. Take this. You've earned it. My father, Gedmar, will be pleased to learn that I've acquired such a gem. And an ally. Go and speak with him upstairs. He's been looking for someone with your... skill. Rude. All that is a shitload of money. I don't think we really need any. Twenty and thirty-one. Yeah, that's pretty good for first half of the game. Keep. Sky dragon. Roger dragon. Greetings. Bro. 
gross. Let's see what's in here. That'll do it. All we want is the XP. Okay. And we can get some more of that XP. I'll have this open in no time. Let's see what's in That'll here. That'll do it. Hmm, a diamond. A man of presence. My son mentioned that you're in need of an invitation to the palace hearings. I can provide that, as well as advancement in my house. In exchange for your capable service. That's bullshit. Oh man. Well, all right, I guess I'm not doing that quest line then. Oops. Did not realize I was going to get locked out. Oh well, at least we got to do the quest that got us 3,000 gold real easy. Along with whatever uh, other items I pilfered. Huh, baby? I see you're still staring at me. Probably looking for me to get up and then you're going to go, Oh, maybe he's going to go get food magically out of somewhere. I know how you'd think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Let's just get Act 2 over with. I haven't done, like, any of the Deerford quests, but we're never really my favorite part. None of them really stand out besides the Ogre one, and then I think of that one I was kind of disappointed with the choices that were offered to me. I don't know, I just have a sour taste in my mouth with that town. Which is strange, but... <sighs> the hearings could end any day now. You mustn't waste any time in securing a way in. What of them? Wait. The hearings Seriously? could end any... Yes. There was. He believed in dying with dignity. He was old-fashioned that way, my husband. We saw the world very differently. I guess I just need to go to the dozens. Go to the dozen, Sophie. Go to the dozens. I don't know. We got that invitation. And then we'll go to the Ducal Palace. And then shit will go down, Sophie. Shit will go down. In all sorts of ways, baby. Hmm. Mouth guard is starting to get. Well, it's Did never comfortable. No, that task fell to the tribe's huntmaster, though he tried everything in his power not to teach me. Were you a difficult student? No, the huntmaster felt that meadow fur was a sign of weakness. I could do nothing right by him on account of my hair color. I'm familiar with the sentiment. <laughs> From the Valian Republics to Air Glanfa, narrowness of mind is truly universal. Ok, 
can't say any of these people in my party are very attractive. Your coloration, Kana. You're an island Omawa, aren't you? What's it like in Dead Sun? I've only heard tall tales. I wouldn't really know. I've never been to any of the Deadfire settlements, and my parents told me very little. Mostly pirate. From time to time, my mother says she misses the quiet of her village, but little else. She has always pushed my sisters to do what she could not as a child. I don't miss my village. It's all just bad memories and a reek of fish guts to me now. Jeez. Well, the good news is that... Uh... Palagina is going to go to Deadfire and meet Kana's sister. In 2018's Pillars of Eternity 2, which... I may be looking forward to just a little bit. <laughs> mhm. Mm oh, that's so many load screens. I do love me a load screen. Someone's got to keep the blazing crucible night. Okay, this is such a good distinction. I agree or I agree in line. So that's it, we just needed to have that one conversation and then I guess go to the Ducal Palace? So many load screens. <laughs> you must gather your party before venturing forth. Mm hmm. I'm gonna uh, maybe gather my party before venturing forth. Maybe. I guess, well, I shouldn't say anything, but oh well, we're burning through this game. I'm not I'm not gonna pause to complete anything. I just want to make good major decisions for game two and be a different class. Although, come to think of it, maybe I like. A first class better with the NPCs that they got going on too. I hadn't even thought about it from that perspective. I just know that I didn't really exactly have a great experience with this one because I was so similar to one of the NPCs. It's basically a carbon copy of Kana without realizing it until I had Kana. Ooh. Hail and well met.
I don't understand what's going on with this quest right now. Oh, for fuck's sake, I have to go back to Lady Web again? Christ. They got me. You must gather your party before venturing forth. If you put me on the right side, I'm fracking I'll be very upset, game. Okay? They're obvious. Do people treat you badly because of how you look? Are you kidding me? My face looks like a cautionary tale about the dangers of wild animals, and I'm even shorter than other Orleans my age. People just like to heckle me. <laughs> Don't ever let them. Be proud of who you are. They're the ones who should feel shame. Oh, Palagina, you're so good. Such a paladin. Even though you told me to uh, go work with those guys who wanted me to rob, murder, and I don't know what else they wanted me to do. But it sure there wasn't good. And she was like, I can't believe you're working with these people that just want peace and order on the streets. Like, I sort of get what they were going for, because, you know, she's a little aristocratic herself, but it didn't quite match up. Not a problem. How fares your search? I've told you everything you need to know. It's only right that you know everything. <laughs> When I was younger, before That's... Dunree Grow, I had many suitors. These were fine-looking men of good stock. But I could see their thoughts, and they were unimpressive. Boys' thoughts. I toyed with their affections. I resented all of them. And then I met a man whose mind was a mystery to me. But he understood me. He knew me at a glance. Told me things I didn't know about myself. He was neither handsome nor charming. He was all I ever wanted. We made a game of my gift. He would ask me about people and I would tell him what they were thinking. Sometimes the information was very sensitive. Whoa. And then one day he asked me if I trusted him. I said I did. Next I knew I was donning a silver mask and swearing oaths to Woodica. Using my gift for the leaden key still felt like a game to me. So I did it. I did it because it pleased him. I don't like living in the dark. It's a powerless hope feeling every day I did things without knowing their purpose every day I loved a man without knowing his thoughts of me I sensed that there were things he wanted to tell me I sensed that he knew everything the leaden key was created to hide but Theos was unyielding one day, I disappeared without a word. He would kill me for it, and I knew that. It's their rule. I just wanted to see him plunge the knife 
because then I would know. But the day never came. He has left me to wonder. How interesting. I have devoted my years to learning everything I could about him, in hopes I would find some clue as to who he really was and why he felt he had to keep his secrets locked away. I have precious little to show for it. Just an old woman nagged by old thoughts. Hmm. And that is truly everything I can tell you about Beos. I hope you will accept this embarrassing story as a show of my good faith. What of them? Of all the groups, it is the dozens that the Duke fears most. If you have their ear, you will most certainly have Avar's. You need waste no more time here. Get to the palace. Make your case to the Duke. With him on our side, all of Deerwood can be mobilized against the Leaden Key, and Theos can be rooted out. I only wish I could be there to see it. There is a very old bottle of a very good brandy that I have been saving for a special day. If you hurry back afterward, there may be a little left for you. Off with you. You're going to do very well in there. I've told you everything you need. I just want, I just want the, to have the brandy. some stuff and then we'll do some more stuff and then I think that'll be all the stuff that we do so many load screens I'm singing about load screens there is a city and some words and some bricks it's a load screen that's green. That's green. That's green. Okay. I am going to pause real quick. I mean, I'm going to be finishing up within like 15 minutes, but I also want to just wash my uh, mouth guard. Get another beer. We could just take a little, little wee break. Get charged. Ready for the... Uh, Shit. Not sure everything that just happened. There's just so many graphics effects.
Yeah, that first level spell, pretty good still. Gotta say. And then we'll Grimoire slam this boy. I don't know if that's the thing we just found. It's just this. Yeah, it's just assassins. So we've we've taken down seven groups of assassins on ourselves. Just in the first half of the game. God damn. Uh oh, see you later, Zeus. Thanks for hanging out. It's nice having you. Always good having you. Alright, here's where I take my quick break.
Alrighty. Let's uh, get our invite on. Here we go. Holland Oats on the balcony. The room below is animated amidst a heated debate. Everybody's just hanging out. Well then, answer me this, Master Barash. If you Animancers represent our best hope to cure the legacy, what progress can you demonstrate? Ramir de Barask is originally from Palminia. He's one of the finest mountains to come out of the Whoa. Bay of the He left for Defiance Bay five years ago because he believed this was the true heart of Anamancy research. As I've said, it isn't about progress, it's about potential. My house would agree, Your Grace. We see great potential in its future. And I suppose your blazing profits during the legacy don't have nothing to do with that, do they, Dominell? You can't have it both ways no more! Animancy goes, or this country goes! So you admit, Master Barask, that Animancy is no closer to stopping the legacy than it ever was. No, we've had many promising experiments. Cadman Azo has shown... Cadman Azo murdered a child for a complete failure. We should be hanging him right now for what he done. The dozens won't stand for it. The experiment failed, yes, but his work... Ah, our new delegate from the dozens. What makes you say sabotage? The fuck's that even matter? These are people who would toy with the lives of our children! Indeed. Even assuming there was sabotage, is this Animancer Azo not still accountable here? I don't think I should involve the people around me. That doesn't feel fair. That's not what I would do, personally. Exactly! Look at what happened in Heritage Hill! Our supposed Oh, I chose number four, by the way. Can't even clean up the messes Animancy leaves! He, he's guilty as shit. Your Grace. We'd have a much easier time of it if our knights weren't so occupied trying to keep their organization from igniting a revolution on our very doorstep. Heritage Hill is blood on your hands, Justisher. You turn a blind eye and look what happens. You have some strange taste in travels, friend. Oh my god, Muta, what are you doing? Expands with every breath. Muta! You can't do this. Get your butt off of my chest. What the fuck? <laughs> Very well. Tell us what you claim to have seen in Heritage Hill. Here, Nelneth houses an inquisitive machine that holds dominion over the flow of souls. It was this machine that made the district undead. Even if it is as you say, we have testimony that a group of animancers had been spending time there. Surely their tinkering had something to do with this. But, but the very purpose of these experiments is to understand. So these dangerous things can be used responsibly. This is what it comes down to, Your Grace. Whatever their intentions, Animancy's a pox. It makes a fucking wreck of everything. We 
all know what Wardwin's legacy is really about. And it ain't about some sparkling saint from Creed Ceres who's mad because he took a stroll down the wrong bridge. It's about a bunch of so-called intellectuals fucking with the natural order while the rest of us gotta suffer for it. Is it, though? Should we not take the time to reach a clear conclusion? I mean, what proof do we have? My son and daughter are buried beneath the floor of my house. We don't own no land, so that's where we laid them. My son. My wife let him slip when she was bathing him. Got water in his lungs he couldn't cough up. My daughter? We put her to bed one night, and the next morning she wasn't breathing. This hollowborn thing? It ain't ending. And it ain't ending, because we still let these charlatans play God. There's your proof, you damn copper fucker! <laughs> copper fucker. Copper fucker. Enough, Adric. Lady Dominel makes a point. If it's animancy, then why do the other states that permit the practice not suffer the same fate? Who among us can say he truly understands why the legacy has taken hold here? Another lunatic at the hearing. Did you remember to lock your sanitarium before you left, Master Baransk? Kinda have to choose my words carefully, but at the same time I kinda don't. You must know, friend, that the Leaden Key is a mantle for small-time ruffians and children at play. I'm not saying you're a liar. Not yet. But you'd better start making sense of all this. Help us believe you. Wow. What? Another guess! Throw him out on his ass, your grace! He's wasting our time! Hmm. Uh, I don't know about all of this. You've made an unexpected case, friend. I'll say that much. It seems we have a new possibility to consider, at the very least. How was it you came to learn all this? Indeed. This land is foreign to you, unless I miss my guess. Your efforts on its behalf are to be commended. But these hearings are about more than Widewind's legacy, even though that is our most pressing concern. Let's say for the moment that I were to take you at your word that our friends in Brackenberry Sanitarium and their peers bear no responsibility for this curse upon my country. I'm curious, what would you do if you were in my position? Very well. 
That is all I wish to hear. Not just from you, but from everyone. Many days we've been at this. It is time we put it to rest. I want to thank the delegations for helping me collect my thoughts. And our new delegate, who has warned us of a new possibility that must be looked into. The time has come to choose a direction for the Deerwood. I am ready to make my pronouncement. Ramir de Barash, representing the interests of Animancers in Deerwood, step forward. Your Grace. The arguments for and against Animancy are both strong in their own way. I must be careful in my judgment. Forgive me, Your Grace. We will accept no judgment but our own. What's he doing? <sighs> no! Avenge the No, no, wait! Stop this! At once! <laughs> <laughs> I've given you every chance to end this pursuit. Shall I end it for you? Another time. I am already late. Shall I end it for you? Uh. Yo, I don't want to read this. I am already at peace, Grand Inquisitor. Are you? I mean, I read it and I don't want to read it out loud because it was gross. So be it. If you desire no end, you shall have none. I find you guilty of heresy. May the eternal prison bar your soul from passage, for it is beyond redemption. Yeah. Rioting in the streets. Okay, and we're past 11.30. Well past, but... Ugh. How much of a slog is this? Okay, this isn't so bad. No enemies so far. Oh, wow. Well, fuck that. I guess we only have a little bit, maybe one fight, one or two fights, to get to Lady Webb and 
her brandy. She promised us brandy. Is that just blood? Come on. Hey, no fights? Hmm, no fights. Sorry. Sorry for robbing the dead. It contact and are immersed in a torrent of sensory input and experience. When it calms, you find yourself in the same room, lying in bed with a glass of brandy in your hand. Through the walls from the streets outside come the sound of screams and shattering glass and the cacophony of an angry mob. You take a sip and it warms your gullet. Across the room, the door opens behind a patient, steady push. Into the room walks Theos, the floorboards creaking behind deliberate steps. You wait until the last of the brandy has trickled down your throat before you speak. I was a fool I to was think. I a fool oh. to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. You were concentrating, focusing with all of your energy. It feels as though you were di diving into a stone wall over and over, but it cracks suddenly, unexpectedly, allowing the vaguest wisp of a thought to leak through. What's in Twin Elms? Did you pull that from my thoughts? I've had time to practice. Ah. Uh. I was saving that for someone. Pity. You know this is how it has to be. Prove it. Layers of tissue separate with brittle, papery stiffness and blood wells up around the blade. Pulse of reflex causes you to drop your glass to the floor and you hear it shatter. The last of your strength, you take his knife hand in both of yours, a question radiant in your mind. For an instant, to your great surprise, the pathway to his mind is left open to you, unguarded, and the end to come, simple, cataclysmic, and it's reordering of your thoughts. As Lady Webb, you feel as though you have an answer you've searched for all your life, but in your own mind, her understanding lies just beyond your reach. 
You look at Theos with the wide eyes of someone seeing him for the first time and you draw your last breath as black velvety darkness descends over you. Smoke rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Anamancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. Anamancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Anamancer was to blame. The city wasted little time in exacting revenge and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenberry Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the Leaden Key itself. Twin Elms. <coughs> Twin Peaks? Twin Elms. Very different. Very, very different. Where does it dump us? Okay. Here's what I don't get about the game. Oh, right, we actually can't go back. I was gonna say, it's faster to just go that way. Pass is open. Oh, what a miracle that Defiance Bay is temporarily closed while the pass to the second city is open. Please stop. I need to tell you something. I have not been entirely honest about my motives for traveling with you up to this point. When I finished my training in Adir, I was introduced to an organization. All I knew was that they were opposed to the unchecked spread of animancy, and that they could guarantee me postings far away from the Seathwood, my father and his Earl. At that time, it was enough. In the early years, I thought of them as many things. Hooded men, prudent teachers, the leaden key. Their rules were strict, but their guidance was clear. I sincerely believe they wanted to keep Kith from the folly of their own foolish ambitions. I came to the Deerwood a little over a year ago. My orders were to gather information on Anamancy in the region. A senior contact met with me every few months to receive my reports and issue new leads. She sent me to Gilded Vale to keep an eye on events surrounding the local lord, but I lost track of her shortly after that. I don't know if she was reassigned, killed, or sacrificed the way you saw. At the time you met me, I'd been on my own for a couple of months. So that's, yeah, I never did any of this stuff. I couldn't have. I'd been out of contact with my superiors for months. I needed some kind of direction. And after that scrape with the locals, I was ready to get out of town. But then you mentioned that you'd survive that Beowick. And I thought you might be able to put me back on the Leaden Keys trail. And I was correct in a way. What we found wasn't what I expected. I knew the Leaden Key was trying to <laughs> stop Anamancy. But I didn't realize how far they'd gone. Murder, sabotage, abandoning entire districts to shambling horrors. Now the whole city is up in flames. Yeah, I think I was wrong to pick what I picked. I now feel bad because I'm still not sure about not Animancy. that bad. But I know I've been following the wrong master. Please accept my apology and my service. Let me fight with you to stop Theos. And what do you really expect us to do with this too late confession? Trust you on your word? <laughs> that would be an honor. All 
All right, it's midnight. I should go. We're gonna pause here at Stormwall Gorge. Uh, and then yeah, we're gonna pick it back up uh, a couple days time. Tuesday, Thursday. Sticking to it. You know it. Uh, and I think I'm gonna do another indie extravaganza again this weekend. Maybe even a little Captain Toad tomorrow? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Truly, who among us can know such a thing as Captain Toad? Who, I say? Who, who? Who? Among us. This is a fight. Yep. Good, some worthwhile action. You use a bit of vengeful violence. Rogue fighter, fighter, wizard, chanter. I'm gonna take on this fighter. And there we go. Okay. We have a good setup here. And once again, we've completely forgotten about Ravius early on. Which is good, because now we can go do something like this. Yeah! 